everybody, we are back. My next guest tonight started out as a model, went on to become a stand-up comedian, and can now be seen on The Parkers every Monday night on UPN. Please welcome Monique. I'm good. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. You, uh, you're doing quite well. You're performing now, which is hard. It's hard for comedians to get to the point where they can perform in, in, a, in a really big arena. You, get, you really get a lot of big crowds now, but when you were starting out, what kind of places were you performing in? Bars. Bars. Nasty, dirty, stinky bars. Right. I even performed in a barn. You performed in a barn? Clan. A barn for the clan? For the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> They hired know. you to do a show? <laughs> they didn't see my picture. Okay? Oh. And I didn't know they were the Klan, and they didn't know I was black. Right. So you know how when you watch movies and something really strange happens and the music stops? Right. Well, I walked into this barn, <laughs> and I see the sheets and the flags, and I said, I think I'm at the wrong place. <laughs> and the music God. just stopped. And my opening joke was, okay, y'all will not hang my fat black ass in here tonight. Let's tell some jokes. <laughs> They said, all right, go on. <laughs> okay. She certainly won them over. Yes, That's nice. I did. And now, they, now, after yeah. the show, they wanted me to have some drinks. I said, hell no, I see those trees outside. Oh, no, no. indeed. <laughs> oh. Well, you've got a, a nice, cheery disposition about the whole thing. Do you still perform down south? Do you still? The South is my market. I right. love the South. I was just down in Macon, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And for me, nothing embarrasses me. I right. just have to make it funny because of being a comic. And I'm on stage, and I had on a mini skirt mm -hmm. and these, like, shimmery stockings, these hoes. And I noticed the crowd was just falling out when I wasn't saying anything. Right. So I'm saying, okay, what is so funny? Because now I'm not even telling a joke. Yeah. But I looked down because the lights were so hot. I was sweating mm -hmm. so bad that it looked like I had peed on myself. <laughs> it was just, I said, oh, I'm so funny, I didn't pee my damn self. <laughs> so now that's part of the act, yeah. That is part of the act. <laughs> Even if it's not odd. Now, now, a lot of comedians... Watch your mouth, po man. <laughs> Sorry. I'm taking care of that problem. I... <laughs> I would just think anything for a laugh. I'm going to use that over there in the monologue. They're not laughing. Mm. Uh... <laughs> Now, a lot of comedians, of course, follow politics. Did you, are you watching the convention? Did you see uh, Bill and Hillary the other night in the convention? Yes, I saw my favorite married couple in America. Mm -hmm. I love Bill and Hillary. You do? Yes, and I really salute Hillary because, you know what, she's a phenomenal woman to have t uh, endured what she had to go through. I mean, her husband got a special service. Mm -hmm. And she didn't give it. That's the that's the that's <laughs> yeah. the nicest term for it I've ever heard. Special service. Yeah. That's and like that the comes with being president. You should get a special service every now and again. You think so? Yes. Why? Because you're the president. It helps you make better decisions. <laughs> <laughs> special, service. special service. I see. That's nice. That's that's nice. So you're married. Do you you think feel the same way about your husband? He can have a special service every now. Only for me. Oh, right. I'm the only one that can give special service. Now, if he ever got special service from someone different, right. we would be doing a different type of interview. I would be via satellite in jail. Talking about Conan. I tried to talk to him, Conan, but he wouldn't listen. Okay. Now I had to do what I had to do. What are you holding there in this interview? specialness. Oh, oh. Okay. I wasn't sure. I thought... All right. All right. We're making the women happy and alienating the men very quickly. I love the men. Uh, well, how did you meet your husband? I actually met my husband. I used to own a comedy club in mm -hmm. Baltimore called Monique's. Mm -hmm. And he came to my club one night with his girlfriend. He says they was not his girlfriend, but it was his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Very petite girl, very small. Mm -hmm. So my husband comes up to me after my show and says, I think you're the prettiest woman in the world. Oh. But he was standing next to her. And I looked at her and said, mm. <laughs> it turned back. And at the time, because my husband is a lot shorter than I am, and I've never dated short men, and I was like, oh, he's so short. And he told my mother that night, he said, I'm going to be your son-in-law one day. Really? Yes. Now, wait, this is in front of his girlfriend he's saying all this, this stuff? Was, right, but you know what? She was afraid because I was a big girl. She was petite, keep in mind. <laughs> and I gave her that big girl look. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the advantage you have. Yeah. I didn't know there was a big girl look, yeah, it's a but big girl now that. Look. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All the big girls in America, let's do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you do have, you know, I really like what you're wearing tonight. You you have uh, very beautiful clothes. Thank you. you. Are these your, the, you design these clothes? Is yes, that... yes. I actually have a clothing line. It launches September the 1st. It's Monique's BBLI. Stands for Big, Beautiful, and Loving It. And... <laughs> mm -hmm. uh <-huh. laughs> And it's, it's for ladies size 14 to 32. 14 I, to 32, okay. Sizes 14 to 32, okay. yes. And I did it because I just traveling around the country. You see big women who's not comfortable. Right. And they can't find things that are stylish and sexy. So I said, you know what, when God put me in a position where I could afford to reproduce what I did, right. I was going to do it. Right. And it's been 10 years in the making, and it comes out September the 1st. Well, good luck with that. That's Thank a nice you. thing to do. And you look, it really does look beautiful. Thank Very you. nice. The, uh, the Parkers... The Parkers, the show you're doing is on Monday nights at 8.30 yes. on UPN. And uh, best of luck with everything. Come back, see us again sometime. Of course I will. Monique, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. That is our show, and I do want to thank all my guests. If you're interested in uh, Monique's line of clothing, uh, you can look at her web address, moniquesbbli.com. So check it out there, and thank you very much, Monique. Thank you so much. Great to have you on the show. You. Our thanks to Elizabeth Berkeley for being here. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Always nice to have you here. Our thanks to Triple H for coming here. He got scared, ran away. Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg 76 in for later. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.